Today on Irrational Public Radio. A Supreme Court comprised entirely of lizard people? It could happen sooner than you think, or later than you think, depending on how soon you think that might happen. The Chinese government is cracking down on the use of radioactive metal shavings in school lunches. Starting January 1st, radioactive metal shavings must be served on the side. Superstorm Yitzchak could be headed your way. So watch your ass. Economy Money Finance Dow Industrial Market Price Point S&P 500. How will private sector bear fiscal interest rate second quarter tax base fund on the dollar? And cellist Graciela Berniccio is recovering from a scissor fight with Swiss karate champion Haya Amstutz. The two have apparently made amends and will soon co-host a new morning cooking show on IPR called Why Not Chicken? I'm Dan Gronschfjord. And I'm Kitten Fishperson. All this and more on Irrational Public Radio. Support for IPR comes from Hetchester Brand Duct Tape, now the official duct tape of the 2021 Autumn Olympics in Branson, and Future Barbarians of America, equipping tomorrow's brutish combatants with heavy wooden clubs today. Hi, this is Steve Chiatakis, afternoon host at KCRW in Los Angeles. For years, I've worked as a radio journalist and news director for NPR, the BBC, and many others. Prior to that, I was a well-regarded foot model for a high-end sock manufacturer. Before that, I spent six years touring South America as Silencio, the somewhat thoughtful clown for which I received the Venezuelan statuette of tolerance. But before that, as a 17-year-old intern just out of high school, I cut my teeth at Irrational Public Radio. I was young, hungry, and eating a piece of prime rib off the pointy end of a steak knife. My teeth were cut up pretty bad. It served me right, eating in such a hurry, which I was only doing because the prime rib was not mine. It was good prime rib, though, cooked perfectly, tender with just the right amount of salt and pepper, a little bit of sear around the edges. Anyway, my teeth being as cut up as they were, I had them knocked out and replaced with fiberglass, and then had the fiberglass replaced with prosthetic teeth made of fiberglass. When those fiberglass teeth shattered upon hitting the high C during a karaoke rendition of Take On Me by AHA, I got teeth made of scrimshaw, for which I had a group on. Over the years, I've had teeth made of silicone, copper, formica, bamboo, and salt. It was this last development that led to my employment at Marketplace Morning Report, whose producers recruited me after seeing me on the cover of Salt Teeth Aficionado magazine. So thank you, Irrational Public Radio, for the lax security at your annual Excellence in Broadcasting prime rib auction, as well as, of course, a commitment to journalistic integrity that dwarfs that of all other media in history combined. I salute you with the very fiber of my being and hold you in the regard that I usually reserve for Captain America. Huzzah! Thank you! And all my love, Steve Chiatakis. Now with traffic, here's Kajon Cermak. Thank you, Steve. Well, take a deep breath, folks. Traffic is an absolute mess. The Garrett Hobart Expressway is bummer to bummer, causing major gridlock on surrounding surface streets with spillover issues, delaying commuter trains, flight departure times, and even astral projection. As reported by our in-house metaphysical traffic consultant, Yogi Carlton Shanti, Double Rainbow Ben Bearclaw. Pack a snack, adjust that lumbar pillow, or better yet, do what I do. Go through the car wash with the top down before heading into traffic and enjoy your own mobile bubble bath. Nothing melts the stress of rush hour delays like soaking in a Mazda Miata filled with hot water and luxurious lavender scented bubbles like those provided by our traffic update sponsor this week, the Auto Spa Mobile Relaxation Bubble Bath System. Simply spread the waterproof comfort lining over your car's interior, spray on the vacuum seal binding formula, drive your car with the top down through your local car wash and spend the rest of the day cruising from the comfort of your own traveling water spa. Use the discount code IPR when ordering to receive half off a premium drainage and anti-mold package. Mention my name and you'll also receive my signature grooming system, the Cajon Cermak Cajun Dijon Raisin Sumac Shaving Pack, now available in new car smell and used car smell. That's the traffic. I'm Cajon Cermak and this is Irrational Public Radio. The oldest living person is now 121 years old and is currently training to participate in this year's Indy 500. Brandy Dristalchewicz has the story. As you crest the hill towards the driver's training complex in Indianapolis, you immediately feel the power of the vehicles thundering around the track. Much quieter, though no less powerful, is the determination of the driver's training there especially that of 121-year-old Cecil Van Mark. I spoke with Mr. Van Mark as he watched his competition in anticipation of the big race. 
Mr. Van Mark, can you tell me what it feels like to watch these much younger, more experienced drivers who will be your competition in this race? Please, call me Cecil. Okay, Cecil. <laughs> what did you just say? I, I just said, sure, I'll call you Cecil. Oh, I thought you called me a stupid, worthless Oh, goodness, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, Cecil, can you tell me about what you're doing in preparation for the race? I try to stay active. I went out on a safari uh -huh. when I turned 111. Hmm. And we drove out on the plains in a, a jeep. Oh, mm -hmm. And saw, you know, lions and elephants and uh, giraffes and all that. But then on the way back, the jeep hit a, a bump. And uh, because my body is not what it used to be, my uh, rib cage just crumbled into bits. Uh, oh. I managed to get all the little pieces out and sew me back up, but now my torso is just a soft bag of guts that's held up by my spine, and that's it. Huh. But, you know, at my, at my age, you've got to expect a few bumps and bruises if you're going to stay active. I can't wear a, a seatbelt because the, the paper-thin skin holding all my organs inside my body can't... Uh, uh, can't really be touched uh, mm -hmm. by any any sort of material, which is why uh, I, you know. Please forgive the nudity. That that's okay. I understand. Would you feel more comfortable if I was nude as well? Yes. Okay. Let me just. Here we go. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fold these up here. Uh, there we go. That's nice. Cecil, I, I see that you're mm. bleeding through whatever that small dent in your shoulder is. Is oh, that an that's, injury or? That's a, uh, a soft spot in my scapula. I see that. It's fascinating. Yeah. Looks like if I pressed my thumb lightly into it, it would just sploosh right in like an overripe piece of melon. That sounds about right. D do you need anything? Can I put on some samba music for you? That would be nice. Okay, one second. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, great. Now, tell me about your strategy. I know it's a very physically demanding race. Yeah. I I have a whole bunch of uh, wooden rulers taped to me to keep me sitting upright without my body collapsing under its own meager weight. Are those special medical rulers? Nope. Just... Regular ruler set. Can I finish? Uh, please. <sighs> also, before the race, my crew is going to be rubbing me all over with a special glue that I get from a Chinaman I know uh, oh. that will keep the centrifugal force from launching my inside bits right through my skin. I see. It's all just like a handful of grapes in a wet paper towel. Exactly. How fast will you be driving? 185 miles an hour. Wow. Have you been making any practice runs at that speed? What's that? Have you been making practice runs in preparation for the race? I have a, a washcloth that I use. You have a washcloth. A green washcloth. It was a gift. I don't think, uh... Okay. You wanna see it? Would I like to see your green washcloth? Do you wanna see my washcloth? Sure. There you go. Hold that up to the camera. Yeah, um, microphone. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, Mr. Van Mark, I want to thank you for talking with me. My great-grandson mm -hmm. has two children. Uh-huh. One of them is no good, 
But the other one is going to come to see me, Ray. Oh, that sounds wonderful that he's going to come see you. She. I'm sorry, she. Well, who knows these days? Oh, oh, I think my legs are ripping. Oh, goodness, so they are. Hold on, hold on. I think it's okay. Nobody move. Uh, shall I turn off the samba music? Please. Oh, okay, that's better. Goodness, that is quite a tear there. No, it's fine. You don't get to race cars at my age. If you start worrying about every time one of your legs starts to rip off. Hand me my washcloth. Uh, here you go. I'll just mop up some of this blood. Wow. Help, help me with something, would you? Sure. Uh, here, just... Ring that into the bucket. Yeah, I'll put it all back in later. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I, I, I think I should have probably worn gloves for this. Oh, they'll strain it out before you <clears throat> put it back in me. They can do wonderful things with science these days. Look at me. I'm uh, 121 years old. Mm. I'm legally blind. I've had six different heart surgeries on six different hearts. 75% of my bones are gone or useless. I have an artificial neck that I felt starting to buckle a few minutes ago. Okay. I'm sure I'm alive. I'm talking with a lovely young naked woman. Oh, thank you. And I'm about to fulfill my dream of racing a Lubani 600X at ungodly speeds in the uh, Indy 500. It's good to be... Alive. Cecil Van Mark, thank you for speaking with me. Well, yeah, quite well. Oh. Hand me the washcloth again. IPR is made possible with support from. Glucose Gustav's Carob-Filled Advent Calendars, Disappointing Diabetic Christian Children Since 1986. The 2010 Indio Scootster, featuring no-touch steering, an all-leather exterior, and available in-dash pepper grinder. And Five Feet Under, a discount funeral service for the budget-conscious bereaved. Thank you for listening to Irrational Public Radio. This episode features the voice talents of Kajan Cermak and Steve Giotakis. Special thanks to KCRW in Santa Monica, as well as Jessica Griffin, Peter Jessup, Ben Shields, Joe Smith, Kari Walgren, and Deborah Wilson. Interstitial music by Jordan Halpern, samba music by Vasco de Brito, and our IPR theme by Greg Benson. The episode was written and directed by Joe Smith. We'd love you to follow us on Twitter, at IPR News. You can also subscribe to our podcast and listen to our entire episode archive on the web at Irrational Public Radio. Radio.com.